Okay, here we are with Jason uh, at um, the uh, One Watt House, who has uh, and Jason has designed and installed this two heat pump and energy recovery ventilation system. Uh, brilliant work, and um, he's going to show a few um, characteristics of uh, the HVAC system, which makes it very interesting. So go ahead, Jason. Okay. In the previous video, we talked about having a passive laundry drying closet uh, that's tied into the ERV system. Also, the bathrooms are tied into the ERV system. The ERV system always draws from the bathrooms. You have the option of boosting that air. Normally, it's, it's minimum airflow of uh, around 40 CFM, which meets our code requirements. And uh, in, the, in the event that you need to move more air out of the bathrooms, you have the option of hitting a timer in either bathroom, which then boosts the output from the ERV. Uh, and where, where is that ERV? That that's right to my oh, right okay. now. This is accessible from the oh, mechanical okay. let's room. Take a look, let's take swing around here and just take a look. This big black box here, then. That's correct. With and, those and two it's, pipes. It's really uh, accessible from the mechanical room. As I'm standing on the ladder, you're able to oh, okay. access the filters to it and the the media that actually does the the actual work. Oh, okay. Uh, we were talking about the laundry closet, and you also have uh, a common area that you might want to pull stale air from, which is the kitchen, the living, and dining rooms. Okay, and that's through here. Here's our open area here, uh, which is um, that's all open. So that's the common area, and so that's one one zone or that's, one that's one heat one, pump. That's that's there's one heat pump that takes care of that area plus the library which is on the opposite end from where we're standing. Uh, the, the other unit takes care of the master bedroom where Dave is standing, the master bath, the laundry room, the second bedroom, and the hall bath. Uh, back to the ERV, we we're talking about the fact that it always draws from the bathrooms regardless. However, you have times you might want to pull air from somewhere else, like the, the laundry closet or the common area, in which case each of those areas have a timer that actuates the, the zone dampers. This zone damper is coming from the common area. Oh, it's right. typically closed. Unless that, little, that little box on the, the bottom of the box is actually the motor that opens and closes the damper that's within inside of the pipe. Okay. We've got that one is for the common area in the kitchen. Uh, this one behind it that's going to be hard to see from your vantage point. Oh, it's I the see it. There it is. Yeah. This one is the damper for the laundry closet, okay. which is always closed unless you're drying clothes, unless you're drying your clothes in the closet. Okay, so that one will always be closed unless we open it with a special switch. That's right. The same is true with the, the common area. Okay. Uh, that is designed that way so that we can always draw air from the bathrooms and do it with the ERV on low. Okay. So in other words. The ERV is always exhausting air uh, at about 40 CFM or per bathroom. Yeah, per it's bathroom. about 90 total and low. So we're dividing it between two bathrooms. So we're going to have around 40, 45 from each. Uh, we've got the master bathroom is pretty large. So we may want to draw more air from that from time to time. So we have the option of pressing a timer on the bathroom wall, which boosts the output of the ERV to about double what its low range is, so it's going to put, pull about close to 200 CFM on high. Okay. And that will then pull basically 100 CFM from each bathroom unless you have the drying, the closed drying closet open or the common area open. If you were to activate one of those, it's going to open the damper and also, also activate the boost function on the ERV, which will then increase the uh, airflow to its maximum. So literally, we could keep this, this flowing all the time. It, it does flow all the time. It does flow all the time, and uh, if we used, uh, if we open the windows in the open area, um, it, it's okay. We have natural ventilation, and uh, but we're still drawing exhausting air from the, the bathrooms, and um, we would be perfectly fine in that case. That's now, right. That's a code requirement. You have to have uh, exhaust fans in the bathrooms, and uh, they have to pull a certain amount. If they're if they're continuous, uh, if they're intermittent, they need to pull more, typically 50 CFM or more, if they're in, in intermittent use. Uh, 
You can get away with not having bath fans if you have windows, but who wants to open a window in the wintertime to use the bathroom? Right. So, we're, the other part of this is instead of having dedicated exhaust fans that draw air and just shove it out of the house, which then would have to be made up through infiltration, uh, this is one thing this home is trying to get away from, get away from is infiltration. This home is, is extremely sealed, and that is really the need behind the ERV. Uh, with the house being as sealed as it is, without the ERV, it would possibly be a sick home. But with the ERV, and you're, you're, you're replacing all the air uh, hourly. So, so we have constant, constant, a constant infusion of fresh air and exhausting stale air. While exchanging the heat and moisture energy and between the two paths so that you're not wasting that energy. Wow. Okay. Brilliant. Um, uh, let's see. Any other um, thoughts? Actually, this, this, uh, this ductwork is just beautifully done and you've made it all airtight by sealing it with uh, some mastic. sort of a oh, mastic. Okay. So if we look real closely at these joints, we see they've been painted with the mastic to make them airtight. And that's just so that all the ductwork is in conditioned space. If we were to leak some air, uh, it would not be a, a critical error. However, it is nice to, to know where every CFM is going. So with all the ducts sealed, when we balance the system, we're going to have uh, be able to divide up our maximum airflow, which is going to be around 370 CFM out of each unit. We'll be able to put every bit of that air into a room where it needs to go, rather than restricting the system by balancing it and then having some of it lost through cracks and seams. Oh, beautiful. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks a lot, Jason. We'll, uh, You're welcome. We'll uh, see how the house performs uh, at some point and uh, kind of recap everything when we get drywall up and uh, just see how well all of this works. Um, and so thanks for checking out our video.